Hey everyone! So today I'm going to show you the easiest way to remove glitter polish. Remember in yesterday's video I showed you this manicure I had done and I've got big, thick, chunky glitter on top of a colored base and you probably were thinking to yourself, oh sure it's pretty but it's going to be a nightmare to remove. Well it doesn't have to be. There is a way that you can remove glitter polish that is fairly easy and simple and you probably already have everything you need right in your own home. All you need is some aluminum foil, a kitchen timer, your nail polish remover, and some cotton balls. And um yeah, it's, it's quite simple. I'm going to show you right now how to do it. So just take out some cotton balls. And what you want to do is... Oh, put down, um, put down a, a rag or an old towel or something in the area that you're working in because Accidents do happen, and if the polish remover splashes or something, it's going to ruin the finish on your table where you're working, or your tablecloth if you're using one, or whatever. So just take some aluminum foil, and just take a, you know, good size sheet here. And then what you're going to do is you're going to tear this into smaller pieces and you're going to want a few pieces that are about this size and it's kind of a good idea to tear them up in advance that way once you get rolling doing this you don't have to keep stopping and tearing now one thing that um, I want to tell you is don't try to do both hands at the same time because what's going to happen is after you finish doing one hand if you try to start working on the other hand everything you did on the first hand is going to fall apart so you do have to wait and do one hand at a time okay so we have plenty of pieces of tin foil ripped up to a smaller size and it doesn't have to be exact it's it's very, um, you know, casual. <laughs> so this is some nail polish remover that I made myself. This is just the bottle from one that I had bought before. Um, if you want to know how to make your own nail polish remover, I already have a video called How to Make Your Own Nail Polish Remover. And the reason why I make my own rather than buy it is because if you use 100% acetone, just on its own that's pretty harsh on your nails and it's going to dry out your cuticles and your nails and your skin what I do is um, I make my own and I add an ingredient to make it um, less damaging but anyways that's another video and you can check that out if you're interested if you're not interested in making your own polish remover just use whatever you have in the house. You don't have to buy anything special. You can use the regular polish remover that they sell, or you can use 100% pure acetone if that's what you have. So it's not, not real important what, which kind you use, but if, if you use something stronger like this, it's probably going to work a little bit better, but the homemade one is the best in terms of not damaging your nails. So all you're going to do is you're going to take a cotton ball and then you're going to saturate it pretty good with the nail polish remover. Okay, you want to make sure that you have plenty of nail polish remover on there. And then you're going to place the cotton ball over your first finger and then take one of these pieces of foil and wrap it securely around now when I squeeze it some of the remover is going to come out so that's why it's really important to have this um, towel or rag down but don't put down anything that you really care about and if you feel like that's not secure enough because see how the back is exposed then just take another piece of your foil and wrap it around 
until it's on there really good and you have it completely covered on both sides okay so just continue on you really want to saturate that cotton ball good place the cotton ball over Yeah, see I made these pieces of foil a little too small, so you might want to make yours big so you don't have to use two pieces. But actually the two pieces seems to work good too. It seems to secure it pretty well, but it doesn't really matter. Either way is fine. This isn't, you know, an exact science. It's just an easy way to get this polish off. So just keep going along until you have all your oops uh oh my cotton ball slipped don't want to do that cotton ball definitely has to be over the nail okay Now you might be wondering, you know, what is the purpose of the foil? What does that do? Well, all it does is it holds the cotton in place. That's the only purpose of it. It doesn't have like any magical qualities or anything. It's just an easy, cheap way of attaching the cotton to your fingers. And it's something that everybody has in their house usually, so... Okay, so now that we have now that we have all five fingers done, I'm going to set my timer to five. Uh, let's give it between six and seven minutes. Make sure it has plenty of time to work. And um, as you can see, because of how awkward this is and you know you have to really sort of squish them on there to make them stay so now if I tried to start working on this hand of course all this would fall off so that's why you have to only do one hand at a time but believe me this is so much easier than trying to just scrub that glitter off I mean <laughs> you've all been there and you know how difficult that can be okay so I'm not gonna make you wait while the timer clicks down so I'll shut the camera off and come back after the timer it has after the time has expired <laughs> okay I'm back now it's been between six and seven minutes so we're going to remove the foil and the cotton pads and when you do um, grab a hold and try to put a little bit of pressure on the area where the cotton ball is so that when you take this off kinda of twist it a little bit and press down like that and here's what you end up with now as you can see let me get my finger a little closer there is still a little bit of polish there but you have to admit that that's so much easier than how it would normally be so you you will need to go and clean up you know a little bit of excess at the end and some will some will come out better than others it depends on the position of the cotton ball and how much you saturated it with uh, your polish remover but be careful because if you put too much polish remover it's going to drip all over here uh, you know on the surface that you're working on and then it could go through the towel and ruin your table so you got to find sort of a happy medium you got to use enough polish remover to do the job but not so much that it's going to ruin you know whatever area you're on okay so I'm going to twist this and pull and see it just left the, the tiny tiny little bit on the side here so we can just go back and clean that up fairly easily 
See, so it removes most of it. I mean, that's so much easier than scrubbing, 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 and fighting with it. Oh, that one left quite a bit behind. So, you know, it's not going to be perfect, but... Ooh, that one came out pretty good. It's just a little, tiny, tiny little bit of glitter on the edges. So that one, I'll have to scrub it a little bit, but boy, that is a lot. It's going to be a lot less trouble to just remove that tiny little bit of glitter there. So that's it, you guys, and, you know, very easy, just regular household items that you have, and this is the easiest way to remove glitter. It's called the foil method, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.